क्वेश्चन नंबर 111 प्लांट्स रिस्पांस ऑब्जर्वड बाय चार्ल्स डार्विन व्हेन कोलियोप्टाइल वाज एक्सपोज्ड टू यूवी नेचुरल लाइट वाज इट वाज फोटोट्रोपिज्म मींस मूवमेंट ऑफ प्लांट और एनी प्लांट ऑर्गन टुवर्ड्स द लाइट इज कॉल्ड फोटोट्रोपिज्म सो व्हेन चार्ल्स डार्विन परफॉर्मड एन एक्सपेरिमेंट विद द कोलियोप्टाइल he found that this is phototropism the movement of plant towards the light now photoperiodism no photoperiodism is the requirement of light for the flowering geotropism movement of any plant or the organ towards the gravity heterophily as we just discussed heterophily is presence of two different types of leaves so the correct option for the given question is option number 3 let's move to the next question Question number one hundred and twelve. Which of the following factors is not responsible for dormancy of seeds? Impermeable seed coat. Yes, it is responsible. If seed coat is impermeable, then nutrients or the water cannot move inside the seed and it will not germinate. It will be dormant. Presence of phenolic acids. Yes. immature embryo yes it could also be a reason that immature embryo is responsible for the dormancy of seeds presence of endosperm cannot be a reason of the dormancy of seeds we have seen many seeds are endospermous such as wheat maize but they are not dormant so the correct reason for the given question is option number 4 let's move to the next question question number 113 Identify six carbon intermediate utilized in dehydrogenation reaction during Krebs cycle. Alpha keto glutaric acid. It is five carbon acid. So this is ruled out. Succinyl coenzyme A four carbon ruled out. Now remaining option number two and four. Isocitric acid. It's a six carbon. Oxalosuccinic acid six carbon. Six carbon isocitric acid undergo dehydrogenation reaction to form the oxalosuccinic acid. So, which one is utilized in the dehydrogenation reaction? It is the isocitric acid, which forms the oxalosuccinic acid. So, the correct option for the given question is option number two. Let's move to the next question. Question number one hundred and fourteen. How many redox equivalents are removed per molecule of PGA oxidized completely? So, what are redox equivalents? They are just hydrogen atoms, and two redox equivalents are removed per dehydrogenation reaction. And how will you find dehydrogenation reaction? When there is formation of NADH two or FADH two, there is dehydrogenase involved and there is dehydrogenation reaction. So just count from phosphoglyceric acid how many dehydrogenation steps are there. Phosphoglyceric acid is formed in glycolysis where there is no dehydrogenation after that. Now come to the link reaction. In link reaction, there is formation of one NADH two. and in krebs cycle there is formation of 3 nadh2 1 fadh2 so how many nadh2 and fadh2 are there total 3 plus 1 plus 1 so total are 5 then five time dehydrogenation takes place and from one dehydrogenation reaction there are two redox equivalents so 5 into 2 There are ten redox equivalents. So the correct option for the given question is option number two. Let's move to the next question. Question number one hundred and fifteen. Arrange the following substrates in ascending order with respect to their RQ value. RQ is the volume of CO two evolved upon volume or the amount of O two consumed. Now, RQ is the respiratory quotient. For organic acids, it is more than one. For glucose, it is unity or one. For tripalmitin, which is a fatty acid, it is less than one. Malic acid and oxalic acid both are organic acids. Oxalic acid has the maximum RQ, so the correct option should be third one, as C is placed at the last in the third option only. so all options are ruled out 
followed by malic acid and then glucose and then try palmitin so the correct option for the given question is option number 3 let's move to the next question mm -hmm.